Philippine Navy, is the Naval Warfare Service branch, of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. It has an estimated strength of 25,000 active service personnel, including the 12,500-strong Philippine Marine Corps. It operates 81 combat ships, 12 auxiliary ships, 25 aircraft and 8 unmanned aerial vehicles. It shares the responsibility of patrolling the maritime borders, with the Philippine Coast Guard, a formally attached unit which became a separate maritime law enforcement agency in 1998. The Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, Modernization Act, officially designated as Republic Act No. 7898, was a Philippine law that was enacted on February 23, 1995, by President Fidel V. Ramos. It was aimed to modernize all branches of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, such as the Philippine Air Force, Philippine Navy, and the Philippine Army. The law was intended to last for 15 years, with an initial budget of 50 billion pesos, for the first five years, but the funding was stopped, due to the 1997 Asian financial crisis. After the financial crisis, the funding for the AFP modernization, was halted and later neglected by successive administrations until the law expired in 2010. On December 11, 2012, it was amended by Republic Act, No. 10349, also known as the Revised AFP, Modernization Act, which extends the modernization program, for another 15 years, with an initial budget of 75 billion, for the first five years, in order to continue modernizing all the branches of the AFP, the amended law was made under the leadership of President Benigno Aquino III. This new law is aimed at building a defense system capable of addressing the assessed threats at a time when the Philippines is locked with a sea dispute with China in the contested Spratly Islands along with Taiwan and other Southeast Asian nations like Brunei, Malaysia and Vietnam. The revised AFP modernization program is divided into three horizons. The first was implemented from 2013 to 2017, the second is from 2018 to 2022, while the third is from 2023 to 2028. A total projected cost of 40 billion US dollars. On June 20, 2018, President Rodrigo Duterte approved the Armed Forces Modernization Program's shopping list for Horizon 2. The list of projects will be implemented from 2018 to 2022, with a budget of about 300 billion, or about 5.6 billion US dollars. The flowing acquisition programs is in line with the ongoing AFP modernization program. The following are advanced defense tools for the future of the Philippine Navy. In December 2019, Secretary of National Defense Dauphin Lorenzana announced that the Scorpion class submarine of France fits the requirements of the Philippine Navy. The project is delayed due to the COVID 19 pandemic. The Navy plans to buy two brand new corvettes, that are enhanced versions, of the Jose Rizal class frigates, from Hunter Heavy Industries, under the Corvette Acquisition Program, wherein the HHI offered, the HDC 3100 based Corvette design. The project is currently on full swing despite the COVID-19 pandemic. The Philippine Navy PN, is awaiting the official approval of the United States government regarding the transfer of its newly decommissioned Cyclone-class patrol vessels to the country. On April 2021, Vice Admiral Giovanni Bacordo stated that the PN is currently awaiting the approval of the U.S. State Department to acquire at least five of these Cyclone-class patrol vessels, which will be a boost to its fleet.
with a project worth of 30 billion, the DND decided that it go with the gob to gob transaction with Australia, for a soft loan agreement. The Australian ambassador, to the Philippines confirmed in an interview, with the Philippine Information Agency, that its government will be signing a framework agreement, with the Philippines Department of National Defense, for the construction of offshore, patrol vessels by Austal, Philippines on behalf of the Australian government. Fast Attack Interdiction Craft, Missile, 9 Shaldag MKV patrol boats armed, with 130mm Typhoon RCWS, and two 12.7mm Mini Typhoon RCWS. Only four out of the nine patrol boats ordered, will be delivered with the Spike Lowe's Typhoon missile launcher, the rest are FFB and W. The project contract was worth US dollars With a project worth of 99 million US dollars, the Philippine Navy released a requirement, for two more landing docks which are believed, to be improvements over the Tarlek class. Tender currently ongoing, which PT PAL Indonesia, passed post qualification for the project. The project is delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs>